Michigan Iron Industry Museum kicked off their Tuesday afternoon history series with a look at one of the greatest tragedies the labor movement has ever seen. Author Gary Countenan went into great detail about the 1913 and 14 copper strike in the Keweenaw Peninsula and the Italian Hall tragedy where more than 73 miners were trampled to death as a result of the fabricated fire warning. At the center of the incident was the rise of labor unions and immigrant workforces on a local and national level, issues that are still relevant today. I think it has a lot of resonance for Michigan especially, uh, the right to work legislation that has, has been enacted. Some of those early struggles just to get an eight hour day to get benefits are in some ways being eroded. And you see that with, with right to work legislation that's occurring in Michigan, but also on the, on the national level. Union membership is down except within public sectors. And so all of these struggles that have occurred historically, uh, we're possibly going to be running into them again. And the book and traveling tour digs deep into first-hand accounts of the horrific ordeal, providing more questions than answers. Countenin has seen a spirited reaction at most of his stops, with some of the victim's family and friends stopping a chat with him about what they know and what they're still unclear about. You can find out more about Gary's book, Community in Conflict, and the museum's upcoming Tuesday afternoon history series speakers on our website, abc10up.com.